Okay, now let's take a look at S2 members member profile modification panel. Before I get into this too much, let me explain that with every WordPress installation, there is a default profile editing panel that comes with WordPress where any user inside WordPress, if I scroll up here to the users menu, if I've logged in as a user or even as an administrator, I can go to your profile. And for a member who is not an administrator, an editor, author, or contributor, when they click this link, they will see something like this. I'm going to switch tabs. They will see a page that looks like this, where the menu items are almost empty. Okay, They only have a dashboard login and then just the ability to edit their profile. Well, this is nice that WordPress comes with this feature already built in. However, this is really not friendly to a membership service or a site that is providing membership access because after all this is the WordPress look and feel. It really does not match the look and feel of a theme on the front end of your site. Also it has things like this where it says admin color scheme. Uh, it might have display name publicly as things that like, just would not make sense under normal circumstances for a paying member. Okay, so wouldn't it be great if we could supply the member with a, a profile editing panel that was a more stripped down version of this and that would also support any custom registration fields that we configured under, I'm going to switch tabs again, under S2 member general options. So that's where this comes in. And all this panel is is just providing you some documentation on how to, how to link to the form that's already built in and comes with S2 member so that your customers can access a more generic, a more generic version uh, that is designed to be implemented with a pop-open window or right into an iframe that's embedded into a page or a post. So here we're just showing three code examples and all three of these are utilizing this S2 member API constant which is the profile modification page URL. So in this example you can see it could just be inserted using a PHP tag right into an anchor tag so that when you click a link that says modify profile would go right to that page. Now this one would use a pop open window and I would suggest using either a pop open window or to embed it using an iframe tag right into a poster page. And here's how that would look. I'm going to pull up on another screen here. If I was to use the pop up version when a member clicks modify, modify profile, they would be confronted with a window that would look something like this. It's just very generic and they would, it would support any custom fields. In this installation, I have one custom field for zip code. So the member now could change their password, their email address, and they wouldn't be confronted with this default profile editing panel at all. Now, what you can also do is you can disable that default profile editing panel under S2 members general options there'll be a subsection that also is referring to member profile modifications and there will be an option there where S2 member will actually redirect members away from this profile editing station in the event that your theme or they would to type in a URL that would lead them here S2 member would make it appear as though this page didn't even exist at all. Okay so that is member profile modifications for S2 member. It's the facilitation of a custom profile modification page that is, that is designed to work standalone. Now in a future version of S2 member we're planning on adding some additional code samples for this and we're going to allow the profile panel to support short code formats and also to inherit the styles of your theme. So as opposed to being completely standalone we're going to make it possible for the modification panel to be integrated right into any post or page through a short code. So you can take a look for that in a future release of S2 member. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and collapse this panel. And in the next section, we're going to cover all three of these last subsections. Because this one and this one are closely related. And this one won't take but just a moment to go over and give you the information that you need to start using hooks and filters in conjunction with S2 member. Okay, so we're going to start with API con constants in the very next segment.